Hi booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be all the books that I plan to read in the month of January. So I've decided to go back to using a randomised wheel to pick my books. However, instead of using the wheel that I set up with all the books listed that I had not read um, but did own, I've decided to use prompts instead. I recently joined an app called The Storygraph um, as an alternative to Goodreads and part of that app is that um, the users can set up their own reading challenges and they can share them with the rest of the, the, the community. Um, I have joined a Read Your TBR challenge and basically you have to read um, books already on your TBR uh, to meet all those challenges. I have loaded all of those challenges. I've got two ways of picking them. So I have a randomizer app on my phone where I have listed all the challenges and then I have the randomizer wheel where I'm only going to have 10 of them loaded at a time. I have used the randomizer app to pick the first 10 and I will talk you through what those 10 are when um, you see the clip where I pick the first prompt. Um, and then I will use the randomizer app to then select a new prompt to replace the one that's just come up on the wheel. Hopefully that will become self-explanatory as we go through this video. Uh, but yes, um, I decided that I needed to tackle my TBR properly um, and really focus on reading the books I own, especially some of the ones I've owned for quite some time. So let's get on and pick the very first prompt. Okay, so here is the wheel uh, that I've set up. I've already selected 10 prompts to start with. So the first one of those is a romance. Second is a book that starts with the letter C. Third is first book in a series. Fourth is a memoir or biography. Fifth is a book where you watch the adaptation first. Sixth is a book with a three word title. Seventh is a book that shares its title with a song. Eight is a book that starts with the letter I. Nine is a retelling. And ten is a book with two parts, uh, two points of view, rather. So let's run the wheel and see what it throws out for me first. Okay, so that is a book you watch the adaptation first. So as you just saw, the first prompt is to pick a book where you watch the adaptation first. And that was an easy one for me. I've picked Dragonfly in Amber by Diana Gabaldon. This is the second book in her Outlander series. It's following a woman called Claire who is transported from the 1900s mid 1900s back to the mid 1700s and there she's um, meets a Highlander called Jamie Fraser and it's about their love story basically and the traumas they go through to be together. In this book they are travelling to France um, they are trying to influence a series of events that lead up to the Battle of Culloden with the aim of hopefully trying to stop it from happening um, and this is just furthering that um, ambition of theirs don't I do know more than that I know pretty much what happens I have seen the adaptation like I said I watched it a few years ago when it first came out and thoroughly enjoyed it I have read Outlander which is the first book in the series and I did enjoy that one as well they're slow reads so it's probably going to be one that I read in between reading other books as well um, but I'm hoping that I will finally get round to finishing it during January Let's pick prompt number two. Okay, so I have now actually uh, changed the a book you watched adaptation first to a book set in the 2010s. Let's spin and see what my second choice will be. A retelling. Okay, I've got a few of those, so that should be easy to pick. 
So prompt number two is to pick a retelling and I have picked Sinful Cinderella by Anita Vale. This is a book that's been sat on my TBR for quite some time and it's in the title. It's a retelling of Cinderella. Only in this book, dear old Cinders, she's not the uh, nicey, nicey, prim and proper, you know, sweet, innocent little that she's made out to be. In this book, yes, she still works for her stepmother and her stepsisters. However, she's using the ball and meeting the prince as a way to get revenge. I don't know anything more than that. I don't want to know anything more than that. But I'm loving this dark take on the story. Um, I downloaded it a few years ago. I was reading quite a few retellings at the time and I was just really enjoying them. So I'm absolutely loving the idea of uh, getting to this um, in, in January. And uh, it might actually be a pick that comes up quite quickly um, and one that I actually knock off the list fairly quickly in the month. So let's pick number three. Right, so I've replaced a retelling with a book that has a war in it. So let's spin and see what selection number three will be. So, number three is a book that shares its title with a song. And the third prompt, as you saw, is to pick a book whose title shares its name with a song. This was a bit of a head-scratcher for me, um, but in the end I settled on Sepulchre by Kate Moss. Now, there is a track from the film um, The Lady in the Van called A Sepulchre by George Fenton. It's an instrumental piece, but I don't think that has any, you know, I don't, don't think you it don't think it has to be a song with lyrics i think it just has to be a track um sepulchre is a book that i have had on my radar since the mid to late 2000s i read labyrinth um mid 2000s it was gifted to me and i thoroughly enjoyed it um it was a dual timeline story and it's set in the languedoc region of france um and yes, this book carries that theme on. Again, this book is dual timeline. So it follows 17-year-old Leonie and her brother who leave Paris to go and stay in her aunt's secluded home in Carcassonne, uh, the Domaine de la Cade. And there she discovers a mystery um, that uh, is timeless. Timeless mystery, written in blood, is how it's put in the um, actual synopsis of the book. It's then also following um, Meredith. Now, Leone's timeline takes place in the late 1800s. Meredith's timeline takes place in the year 2007. She has also travelled to the Domain de la Cade to um, research a biography. And there she discovers the mystery as well. Um, and yeah... It sounds really, really interesting to me. And it's one, like I say, that's been on my ra radar for a long, long time. And I should have read when it first came out. In fact, it's one of the few books that when I first bought my Kindle, I immediately downloaded. That's how long I've had it on my TBR. Um, because I needed to read it. I needed to get through it. Uh, so, yeah, so that is pick number three. So let's move on and pick prompt number four. Okay, so I've replaced a book that shares its title with a song with an historical fiction. So let's see what the final spin will be. And that's a book that starts with the letter C. So prompt number four was to pick a book that starts with the letter C. And I have picked Claimed by Sarah Fine. This is book two in her Servants of Fate series. This is following a woman, Galena, who is a top scientist and she's trying to develop a vaccine that would save millions of lives. However, it becomes clear that someone doesn't want her to do this 
when her test subjects meet with foul play and also threats are made against her life. In comes Declan Ferry. Um, he, he's part of the Ferry family who are the being followed in this series and he's been assigned to protect her to try and make sure that she gets to finish the vaccine and it's about their love story and about all the things that are happening um, surrounding that as well. So again another one that I'm looking forward to read. I did read the first book a while ago, don't really remember much about it but I'm not going to go back and reread the first book. Um, I did start this book um, but I'll, I shall restart it again and yeah so see where I go from there. So those are the four prompt picks. Um, I think all of them actually no three of the four are actually series continuations which um plays into my continue four series uh that i had on my goals uh video which i'll leave up in the cards for you or link down below and um, so yes it's uh it's been um if i get through all these books it will be quite a successful month on the goals um uh, challenge as well there are two more books uh, that will be read in that month. Um, I am still taking part in the Just One More Page book club run by Jess McGlynn. Um, I have a confession to make. At the point that I'm filming this, it's 31st of December and I haven't read December's book yet. That book is I Am Half Sick of Shadows by Alan Bradley. It's uh, the Flavia de Luce series. It's set around Christmas. It's a mystery series. Um... Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm going to try and give it a go and read it later on today. Uh, but the book club meeting isn't until the beginning of January anyway. Um, so yeah, so I'll see how quickly I can get through that one. But that will probably carry over to New Year's Day. And also, we haven't yet picked January's book. So we shall wait and see what that one will be. Um, and we'll see when that one comes out. I will have to tell you at the end of the month. So those are all my picks and the new way that I'm picking books this month. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have a different way of selecting your TBR, then please let me know down below. I'm always looking for inspiration, even if it's just inspiration for prompts. But I'm always looking for inspiration on how to pick my own TBR. Um, and yeah, I'd, I'd love to know. I make videos and put them up every Monday at 6.30pm UK time. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do give me a thumbs up. And if not already, then please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all again in my next one. Bye.